Hej, hej, hallå, I'm Kråkan, also known as Corvus Cornix, and welcome to Classic Movie Rambles, where I talk about all movies that I found in my class while cleaning. This week's movie is Monster Sink. It's about one hour and 28 minutes long. The movie starts with an intro credit sequence with a lot of doors, and then cutting to some trainee monsters, training on how to scare kids, because in this universe, uh, monsters use uh, children's scream as a sort of power source for their electronics. And then uh, he gets jailed at, at by his boss anyways. And then cutting to Solly and Mike training for before work and then he walk to work. And uh, um, apparently Mike, this one-eyed monster, uh, he's in love with the receptionist, uh, Celia. And they're supposed to go on a date because it's her birthday. And then cutting to, uh, well, Randall, one of the bad guys harassing Mike just because he, he can't do it. And then Solly and Mike heads for work, they are basically a team and they try to scare kids to earn their salary and power the monster city with electricity uh, and then sometime later Mike goes on a date with uh, Cecilia the receptionist and um, Sully stands behind to take care of some of Mike's paperwork but he finds an abandoned door and he steps on through it and a kid managed to follow him out because of course and then uh, Sully is supposed to keep an eye on the kid, try to get it back, but everything backfires and they end up at the same restaurant where Mike is supposed to have a date and everything goes south from there. So while Mike and Sally are taking care of the kid, they figured out that child laughter is more powerful than normal screams for some reason and it overloads the system, the electric grid system of the Monster City. And the next day they try to bring this little kid called Boo back to their parents through the door which he obviously came from so while this is happening Mike gets yelled out by his girlfriend for ditching her at the uh, at the restaurant he was running away with the kid and Sally and uh, they lose the kid basically and Mike gets captured by Randall and is about to be tortured but Boo and Sally uh, goes after him and then they manage to escape and Mike and Sally goes to confront their boss and tell him exactly what Randall has been doing but it turns out that Randall and the boss has been in on it the whole time and they get banished to the Himalayas uh, and they meet up with the Bigfoot I think uh, which is kind of a funny scene and Sally and Mike aren't on the best of terms now because they're, they don't think there's like a way back but it obviously is because there are kids in the in the Himala Himalayas that will get scared too so there are like doors between the monster world and theirs so Sally goes down the mountain on a sled and managed to get back to the Monster Sing's headquarter <clears throat> uh, and he uh, tries to save Boo, uh, but basically what happens is that um, uh, Sally gets in a conflict. They start to wrestle with Randall, and uh, Mike actually just throws a snowball in in uh, Randall's face, and he managed to save them both. So after this scene, there's a long chase sequence when Sully tries to get to Boo's door. It's now like on a conveyor belt thing, and Randall is on the trail basically. So after a long chase, Randall uh, ends up in one of the doors leading to a Florida home where a mother beats him senseless with a shovel, which I thought was kind of funny. And the boss uh, of Monster Inc. gets recorded while saying that he doesn't care. And of course, he's used evidence, evidence against him and he's, you know, taken in. And Bo is sent back home and uh, it's kind of a sad thing because he, you know, uh, Sally is supposed to say goodbye and then they shred the door so he can't return to their world. It's like a policy thing. But one thing that was good out of this is that the idea that uh, child laughter actually powers the electricity like 10 times more or something like that leads to them actually extracting laughter from the kids instead of scaring them. So Mike, being the nice guy that he is, and now that they're friends again, he managed to report, repair the door and uh, so Sally can once again see uh, his, you know, little girl bow. And that's kind of a nice way to end the movie, I think. So what do I think about this movie? It's a fun movie, but a bit childish. Uh, <laughs> it's one of the later Pixar movies, I believe, and it's actually good. I think it. I think so. I think my uh, younger uh, brothers and sisters' kid would enjoy this movie pretty much. So, so anyway, thanks for listening and for watching, and take care.